Hello students, welcome to my channel. So today I'm going to start algebra from option math. You can see here class 8 option math. I'm going to start algebra exercise 1.1 which is very important for examination. Let's take a start. I'm going to provide you complete solution of this question number 1, 2, 3 which is very important. Look at question number 1. 1A. This exercise 1.1. 1. So keep properly. Question number 1 x 4 is equal to 3 y we have to find out the value of x and y find x and y therefore you can see here in the x component what is here x and what is here in the x component in the place of x 3 therefore x is equal to 3 and 4 is equal to y or y is equal to 4 we can write y is equal to 4 similarly look at question number b here what is given you can look at your book also a 4 is equal to minus 2 a plus b from here we have to find out the value of a and b therefore a is equal to minus 2 x component both are equal equal sign also here a is equal to minus 2 and next what is here 4 is equal to a plus b or we can write a plus b is equal to 4 a plus b is equal to 4 now put the value of a here a is equal to what is here minus 2 so minus 2 plus b is equal to 4 b is equal to 4 plus 2 here is minus 2 so it will be plus 2 when the change the place it will be plus 2 so b is equal to when you add we get here 6 so b number also hope you understand look at question number c x plus y x minus 2y is equal to 4 1 therefore we can write here x plus y is equal to what 4 x component in the place of x component what is here x plus y in the place of x what is here 4 so we can write x plus y is equal to 4 equation 1 and next what is here x minus 2y is equal to x minus 2y y component means this is equal to 1 equation 2 we have two equation equation 1 and 2 when you solve these two equation we get value of x and y look at here how to solve equation 1 and 2 solving equation 1 and 2 look at here here is 2y but here is y if you multiply by 2 here equation 1 what happened there 2 into x 2x plus 2y is equal to 4 into 2 8 similarly this one no need to multiply by any numbers x minus 2y is equal to 1 why we did like this to make 2y 2y here already 2y if you multiply by 2 it will be 2y so one positive one negative we can cancel this one 2x plus x 3x is equal to 8 plus 1 9 so x is equal to 9 by 3 x is equal to we get here uh, 3 now we have to find out the value of y put the value of x in any equation either equation 1 or 2 now we can write here from equation 1 so what is here x plus y is equal to 4 what is the value of x 3 3 plus y is equal to 4 y is equal to 4 minus 3 y is equal to 1 so we get y is equal what is the value of y 1 so this one is equation uh, question number c hope you understand this question uh, look at question number d now question number d try to understand properly here what is question here 2x x plus y is equal to y comma 9 therefore x component what is here 2x 2x is equal to what is here x component y this equation 1 now here what is the value of y component here x plus y so x plus y is equal to uh, in the place of y or y component you can say what is here 9 so 2x is equal to y and x plus y is equal to 9 now just we have to solve these two equation and find out the value of x and y so y is equal to what is here 2x 2x is equal to y or y is equal to 2x same thing so putting the value of y from equation 1 in which equation equation 2 when you put into what happened x plus y is equal to 9 in equation 2 what is here x plus y is equal to 9 now in the place of x uh, putting the value of y we have to y is equal to what is here 2x so x plus in the place of y we have to write 2x is equal to 9 when you add this we get 3x is equal to 9 x is equal to 9 by 3 therefore x is equal to we get here 3 now we have to find out the value of y so from equation 1 when you take equation 1 2x is equal to y put the value of x here 2 into 3 is equal to y y is equal to 6 
y is 3 into 2 6 so the value of x is equal to 3 and y is equal to 6 hope you understand this question number d also now look at uh, last number e 1 e then i will start question number 2 now e number here what is the question there x plus 3 y plus 4x is equal to y minus 2 and 2x minus 1 from here we have to find out the value of x and y therefore we can write x plus 3 x component x plus 3 is equal to what is here y minus 2 solve and find out the value of uh, one equation x when you take y to left side it will be minus y is equal to minus 2 when you take 3 on the side it will be minus 3 so x minus y is equal to minus 5 equation 1 minus 2 minus 3 minus minus plus we have to add it will be minus 5 similarly this one another y plus 4x is equal to 2x minus 1 now we have to find out one equation from here so take this both terms right side 2x minus or you can take this side only it will be easy y plus 4x minus 2x is equal to minus 1 minus 1 leave it up to here now y when you solve this 2 we get plus 2x is equal to minus 1 okay up to here this equation 2 or you can write 2x plus y is equal to minus 1 this equation 2 now we have to solve equation 1 and 2 and we get value of x and y uh, solving equation 1 and 2 when you solve this two equation what do we get 2x plus y is equal to minus 1 here and this one x minus y is equal to minus 5 solve one positive one negative so cancel 2x plus x 3x is equal to minus 1 minus 5 minus 6 x is equal to minus 6 minus 6 by 3 x is equal to minus 2 we get value of x is equal to minus 2 now we have to find out value of y we get value of x is equal to minus 2 after this we have to find out the value of y so from equation 1 when you put the value of x in any equation either equation 1 or 2 we get value of y you can choose any equation either equation 1 or equation 2 i took uh, equation 1 so what is equation 1 here x minus y is equal to minus 5 put the value of x here in the place of x we have to write minus 2 minus 2 minus y is equal to minus 5 so minus y is equal to minus 5 when you take minus 2 to the left, uh, right side it will be plus 2 when minus is here it will be plus so minus y is equal to minus 3 minus minus cancel therefore y is equal to 3 so um, value of x is equal to minus 2 and y is equal to 3 hope you understand question number 1 now watch question number 2 and 3 as well these questions are very important for first time examination let's look at question number 2 and 3 look at question number 2 what is here if p is equal to a b and q is equal to 1 2 find p cross q not this one multiply we have to say this cross p cross q and q cross p the value of p is equal to a b and the value of q is equal to 1 2 we have to find out p cross q and q cross p look at properly how to do this one number 2 a here what is the value of p p is equal to a b and q is equal to 1 2 we have to find out p cross q p is equal to what is here a b cross q is equal to what is there 1 2 now we have to find out the value of p cross q look at properly if we while uh, finding p cross q we have to do like this look at properly a 1 a 2 we have to write in the form of coordinate a 1 a2 we have to write in the form of coordinate this is not multiplication like a multiplication only after that we have to multiply by b b1 b2 so b1 b2 hope you understand this process to find out p cross q look at how to multiply q cross p so first of all we have to write down the uh, value of q what is the value of q 1 2 we have to write here 1 2 cross cross is here write down cross p is equal to what is there a b p is equal to what is here a b now we have to find out q cross p look at here how to find out q cross p first one a one b we have to write inside one small bracket one a one b similarly we have to find out two a two b so we can write here two a 
to B. Hope you understand this also. P, P cross Q and Q cross P. So look at question number B. B also same here. What is the value of A? A is equal to A B C and B is equal to what is there? 7 8 9. Here we have to find out A cross B and B cross A. Look at here how to find out A cross B. What is the elements of A? A means A, B, C cross elements of B 7, 8, 9. Okay. Now we have to find out multiplication. A cross B we have to find out. Now how to multiply this one? A 7, A 8, A 9. We have to write inside small bracket A 7, A 8, A 9. Don't forget to write this comma this one x coordinate this one y coordinate x coordinate y coordinate x coordinate y coordinate similarly now turn off b b7 b8 b9 b7 b8 b9 similarly now turn off c so what we have to write c7 c8 c9 c7 c8 c9 Hope you understand this A cross B, how to find out A cross B. Similarly, we have to find out B cross A also. Look at properly how to find out B cross A. So first of all, what is the matrix B? B is, uh, what is the value of B? B means 7, 8, 9. So write down here 7, 8, 9. Cross A is equal to what is there? A, B, C. So we have to write here A, B, C. Now look at here properly. Uh, like before we have to do 7 a 7 is front so we have to write 7 a is front so we have to take a 7 a 7 b 7 c so we have to write here 7 a 7 b 7 c similarly 8 a 8 b 8 c so 8 a 8 b 8 c similarly now turn off 9 9 a 9 b 9 c so we can write here 9a you can you can you can write here in one line if you don't know if you don't have place you can write downside also no problem 9b and 9c we have to write inside a small bracket and first and last you have don't forget to give curly bracket so this one you know how to find out a cross b and b cross a now look at question number three you can see here question number 3 a is equal to 1 2 3 and b is equal to mn after that we have to find out a cross b b cross a a cross a and b cross b after teaching these three number you can understand how to multiply a cross b b cross a a cross a and b cross b look at properly here what is the value of a here a is equal to 1 2 3 and b is equal to m n and after this we have to find out a cross b in number a we have to find out a cross b so a is equal to 1 2 3 similarly b is equal to m n now look at here how to find out a cross b 1 m 1 n 1 comma m 1 comma n similarly 2 m 2 n 2 m 2 n similarly 3 m 3 n 3m 3n okay this one a number similarly look at b number b cross a we have to find out b is equal what is the value of b here mn so we have to write here mn cross a is equal to what is there 1 2 3 1 2 3 now find out a cross b m1 m2 m3 m1 m2 m3 similarly n1 n2 n3 n1 n2 n3 okay in number c look at here we have to find out a cross a look at here properly how to find out a cross a first of all what is the value of a we have to find look at here 1 2 3 so we have to write 1 2 3 cross again 1 2 3 now find out a cross a same 1 1 1 2 1 3 by 1 we have to multiply by all then by 2 then by 3 1 1 1 1 1 2 1 2 then 1 3 1 3 similarly by 2 2 1 
two, 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 three. Similarly, look at number D. We have to find out B cross B. What is the value of B here? M N. So we have to write here M N. M N cross B is equal to M N. Now find out M M M N. M M. Then after that M N. M N. Similarly N M. N M. And this again N N. N N. Hope you understand this question number one, two, three, which I provided you. And in my next video, I will do other questions which is important for examination. Oh, thanks for watching till last. If you are new, please hit the like button, share with your friends, and don't forget to comment and hit the like button also. And don't forget to share your with your friends. Sharing is caring, so please share with your friends as soon as possible uh, of class 8 students please share to all so they can attempt exam properly thanks for watching